Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all have been um, very, very busy getting things ready, um, working extra hard. Kids got to get ready to go back to school real soon. Matter of fact, this week they're going back to school, got to uh, get them some things for school. So I have really been MIA, um, haven't really been watching a lot of videos. Um, but I just need to take time because I think I'm running myself around too much. Um, and it's causing me to, you know, kind of shut down a little bit. But yeah, I did want to get on here because I did see one video that Jasmine had did. And <clears throat> something else that I had noticed prior to the video that she did. It's the one that just recently came out and y'all I do know that YouTube has been high like I said I haven't been able to I'll catch up trust me but anyway um I know uh, the video to where she said she got a job and that her mother came over now from understanding um her mother you know have made a post uh about her um, what you call it, her identity has been compromised, right? And everybody, you know, immediately, you know, started speculating that it was Chris. You know, her mother didn't come out and say anything of the sort. She just put it out there and the police gonna be called. So what else best to do, right? I seen that post that was made. And then I seen um, the other post that her mother had put out there saying that, oh, we had a real good time at um, Jazz and Chris. Um, they barbecue food was good, blah, 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 on her Facebook page, right? And see, y'all, my thing with that, I think her mother is doing damage control. Uh, she she look at that. Um, the reactors just like everybody else do, right? She doing damage control. She automatically, she don't want to believe that her daughter's boyfriend um, is capable of that. So she's doing damage control. She's going to go ahead and um, say, oh, we went over there. You know, I'm pretty sure. I don't. I'm pretty sure if she didn't have a purse, she either left it in the car and did not leave it in the house at any time because everybody was outside looking at that video. But like I said, the whole point is she doing she doing cleanup. She trying to clean up so people won't keep talking about this. But it's out there in the atmosphere. Chris has a history of this. Could it possibly be that he may have, you know, he may know something about this but y'all you know she's she's on there and she's happy and once again all that um that seasoned meat <clears throat> looking at all that meat that with that much seasoning it it makes me feel like I got high blood pressure <laughs> Because he he over he overdo it. He put so much seasoning on there, um, and it's still at the end of the day, y'all. Jasmine don't look out for her own health. You know she's saying that she has high blood pressure. Preeclampsia is is not too far behind, and she just <clears throat> she's not telling him a. Hey, I don't want to eat all this salt. Let Put mine to the side. Instead of putting all that stuff together, let's do mine on the side. So, I won't, you know, it won't affect me or the unborn, right? <clears throat> Yet, in the same video, she goes and says she's going to be a teacher. <laughs> oh, she got a job offer to be a high school teacher really <clears throat> you 
Yeah. Can somebody tell me, do she have a degree? Did she go to school to be a teacher? I mean, I know you don't have to have a degree. I don't think. I don't know. I'm not a teacher. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> a high school teacher? Don't she know how brutal high schoolers are? Brutal. They will send her home crying. <clears throat> she says it's contingent only if she finds the twins in a daycare. Well, I think you need to hurry up. You know, because she wants to prove to everybody that she can get a 9 to 5. Ain't nobody ever knocked you from not getting a 9 to 5. We just think that you should because <clears throat> Chris ain't got no job. And it's so crazy. You got a job before he did. He don't work. You know he don't work. And see, y'all, she, she gonna always say he work, this and this and that. He gonna say he work, this and this and that. Now, mind y'all, we know they're both liars because we can take it back a little bit to where Chris, when Jack, when everybody kept saying, do he stay with you? Jazz, Jasmine always said, no. Chris said, I don't stay here. Finally, she spilled the beans, right? So, in this case, we know Chris ain't got no job. They both keep saying he work. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. Oh, he ain't been working. Because it's like, why do you have to go get a job, another job, because you're, you're vlogging or whatnot? Why do you have to go vlog why, 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 let me say this. Why are you going to go get a job now that you're pregnant and Chris needs to be out there making extra money? Because it's kind of, it's almost to me <clears throat> pointless for you to accept any position when you're about due. You know, it doesn't make any sense because I don't think they're going to be they're They're, they're not going to want a teacher that's going to be there for a couple of months and then you got to quit or go on maternity leave. I don't know how that work. I'm not a teacher. Uh, I'm not trying to be nobody's teacher. I don't know why she trying to be somebody's teacher. I got so many thoughts about that. I don't think if I see if I lived in Texas, I got some high schoolers, right? I got a ninth grader and a 10th grader, my last two kids, y'all. We lived in Texas, and they happened to go to the school that she is saying she's going to be working at. And I see her, and I've been watching her on YouTube. Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't going here. Let's go. I'm dead serious. I No, 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 ma'am. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Not saying, you know, that she, she might be all right. Maybe. My kids wouldn't go there. I'm sorry. If I'm watching her <clears throat> on TV and she here to teach my... Y'all. <clears throat> I'm happy... Somebody offered her a job. Do I think she should take it? No. You about, you about do. There is no point for you to take a job when you're about to be delivering soon and you're going to be off for six weeks. It's like you won't get no type of medical benefits. At least I don't. <clears throat> Times have changed. But all I know, if you start a job and you ain't been there for a good six months you get no benefits whatsoever but <clears throat> we shall see if she's going to uh work um congratulations to her for even you know mentioning it kudos to her show your cheerleader over there 
how it had a lot of application basically to go get a job because he said oh what he say um i'm happy you know this, oh, kids and women y'all i'm done i'm done <laughs> i'm so done yeah if y'all like this video give me a thumbs up if you have anything to say Go ahead and drop me some comments down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye.